Hello guys and welcome back to World of Tanks Weekend and today I am playing with the KV-3. This is my beastiest tank that I own currently and I will tell you why it's a beast very shortly. But um, to start with you can see that this tank is okay when it's gone down hills but it's bad when it gets to hills and like the AMX-40 that I discussed the other day um, is actually very bad up hills because it has bad acceleration. Now there is a couple of reasons for this. The first is that it is a very heavy tank due to the large amount of armor in which it has. Um, also has a lot of health. Not that that affects speed or acceleration but it doesn't have an amazing engine for its tier and uh, that means that it goes a bit slower than maybe some other tanks. However, it does make up for that in having obviously a lot of armor and a awesome gun once you upgrade to it. Now I actually have the not so good gun on this tank at the moment which has a uh, rate of fire of about four rounds per minute which is not very much for tanks but um, there is an upgrade that you can get for this which makes it a tier 8 gun which is awesome uh, and I do get it well I have already got it now this is again a post commentary so I have actually got that gun now um, I just couldn't afford it at the time so because I'm poor basically I don't play the game enough and I'm poor but uh, you can see that I actually at the beginning of this game get hit by a T-34-85 and what I found quite amazing was how it shot through one track and hit the tra track on the other side <laughs> with one shot and it damaged both my tracks right at the beginning of the game which means I turn really slowly and move really slowly but unfortunately for the M6 I move just about enough to dodge its shot and give it a shot which takes away 390 health off him which is the max amount of damage that this gun does um, and yes he was very hurt and ran off crying Anyway, I actually spend a lot of time on this hill for the entire game uh, for the pure fact that this KV-1S that's like sitting down there keeps getting in the way, but I still manage to get a few pot shots off at the uh, other medium tanks that are around and you can see that I actually did a lot of damage to that VK-3001P but uh, <laughs> it also gets shot by a T-3485 which uh, finishes it off which is Oh, that's quite funny. But you can see here, the KV-1S tries to get a sneaky shot at me and instead takes a shot from a, another friendly heavy tank and therefore decides to back off after trying that one. Now, I couldn't really aim down enough there, so I was really hoping that he didn't hit me. He had a gun that was probably good enough to penetrate the armor of my turret. But you can see here that I try and get another shot at a tank from up here. Deciding to back off from this T29 was probably a good idea for the pure fact that if that had hit me, it would have done a lot of damage. You can see the Panzer IV over there did a little bit of damage. Um, there is another tank that is kind of camping in a spawn, um, which also tries to poke me throughout the entire game. But this tank is bloody indestructible. It's slow, and you can see that I'm kind of just sort of drew going bleh, all around everywhere and a shot to the Panzer IV <laughs> take from a lot of health but um, yeah the reason the main reason being is that I've actually um, lost or damaged both tracks and at this point I'm just kind of proving stuff with these videos that my tank just got hit by RT and there's nothing I can do about it that's the most annoying thing I'm a big target I move slowly I can't really get away from it and <laughs> you see the Hummel manages to hit me again um, thankfully I have a lot of HP and a lot of armor which basically mean I can survive a couple of arty shots with this tank um, depending on their tier uh, but he's damaged my gun in the process and oh my god you're probably thinking he's not gonna be able to shoot anything uh, it's not too bad because my team's taken care of the rest so even though I managed to do almost 800 damage didn't get a kill so far and uh, again I'm not really showing off I'm just kind of pointing out the shit that happens with this tank along with the other tanks which I play um, these are typical games for me now 
you, I, I don't know, you probably just don't really care about these kind of games, but I like to show what I think is a stereotypical game for these tanks that I play. Um, but you can see there, I managed to pop, right, pop the uh, turret round and take out the KV-1S with the final shot, which was bugging me the entire game, so I'm so glad I got the kill. But that's the end of the game right there. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.